Mission Hills man says he's watching his home like a hawk after he found someone with a machete in his backyard trying to break in. And he says he fought the prowler before they got away. CBS 8's Heather Hope finds out why police need your help to track them down. Certainly scary moments for a Mission Hills man that sent him rushing home after receiving a motions alert from his ring camera that an intruder was at his back door. So I look at the video and I see this guy walk up with a machete and my fruit picker to the door and start trying to get in it. Homeowner Eric Carnizas says he raced back to his Mission Hills home near Robin's Egg Trail on Wednesday night, fearing a prowler may have broken into a back room where his 70-year-old mother is staying. His ring camera shows a shirtless man carrying his fruit picker in one hand and a machete in the other. Running down these steps, sidestepping quietly. Eric called police. Looking, when he got home, he found obviously. himself face to face with the intruder. He's hiding here in these bushes, looking up into the windows of my guest house. That's when he lunged out and attacked me. Eric says he wrestled with the man for 10 minutes to get the machete from him. So I sidestep behind him, grab him, and I twist him up and over and down. So this is where he landed. In the struggle, uh, Eric says the man body. murmured odd things to him. People are missing. There's things happening in Hillcrest. I need to find my friends. Eric That's cut the I man's hand with the machete and he was bleeding yeah, before he got away. Jumped the fence right there and disappeared off into the distance. Two San Diego police officers showed up and took a report. They shined their flashlights in the canyon and like, oh yeah, he got away. Eric posted his ring cam video on next door, where over 160 neighbors have commented. Jennifer T wrote, if you look on the Citizen app, the guy with the machete has been reported several times since March 6. Eric turned over the man's weapon and drug paraphernalia to police. Clean enough and built enough to where I don't believe he was homeless. I mean, he had on some blue jeans and tennis shoes. He had on a bunch of beads. It didn't seem to me like I was wrestling a homeless guy. It seemed to me like I was wrestling a criminal. Eric hopes the prowler is caught soon. It's about my neighbors. It's about another old lady who's going to be behind the door that this guy is at with a machete that can't take the machete and defend herself. SDPD says their Western Division detectives are still investigating. Anyone with information is asked to call police. Heather Hope, CBS 8. Scary stuff. Thanks, Heather.